Unraveling Blue Tongue, The Curious Case of Colorful Language. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, blue tongue. You might be thinking of animals that naturally have blue tongues, but in English, phrases often have meanings beyond the literal. So, let's dive in and find out what blue tongue can mean in different contexts. When someone mentions blue tongue, the first thing that might come to mind is the literal interpretation. There are animals, like the blue-tongued skink, which indeed have a tongue that appears blue. This literal sense is straightforward. It's simply a description of the color of the tongue. In a medical context, a blue tongue may indicate that someone is not getting enough oxygen. This is a serious condition and not a phrase you'd likely use in everyday conversation. It's important to know the difference between literal uses and idiomatic expressions, which we'll talk about next. Moving on to idiomatic expressions. Blue tongue can mean speaking bluntly or with a harsh tone, often in a way that is too direct and may be considered rude. For example, someone might say, she's got a blue tongue today meaning that person is being unusually blunt. It's like saying someone is speaking with a sharp tongue. When you're using blue tongue in conversations, be aware of the tone and context. It's not a common idiom, so using it might confuse some English speakers unless you're sure they understand the phrase. It's safer to use more common expressions to describe someone's direct or harsh speech, such as being straightforward or speaking one's mind. I hope this explanation clears up any confusion about the phrase blue tongue. Remember, understanding idioms can be tricky, but it's also a fun part of learning a language. You get to see how colorful and creative it can be. Keep practicing, and don't let those tricky phrases get your tongue, blue or otherwise. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.